Yeah, no, he's obviously an integral part of our team and really special player that's having an incredible year. So um, anytime you have a guy like that out, uh, I think other guys and the whole team has to step up. And uh, I think that we did that. It was a, a big game for us and um, against a team that was uh, really rolling uh, going into that. So, um, you know, it would be great whenever we get him back. But, uh, yeah, he's a huge part of, of our team. Well, they're gonna they're gonna come back hard. I think that this you know this whole season series that we've had against them, uh, it's been back and forth. So um, you know they're gonna come out with their best, and and we're gonna be ready for that. So uh, it should be a really good game. And the last one here, we'll go back to Mark Masters. Go ahead, Mark. From the bookends here, uh, Zach, always. Yes. Uh, what did you guys do specifically well defensively against Edmonton's big guys uh, Saturday night? Yeah, I, I think that uh, we try to take as much space away from those guys and try to be above them as much as we, we can. And and uh, I think as forwards, try to help the D as much as possible. Anytime that those guys have you in a one-on-one -on -one situation, it's they can make it really tough on you. So, you know, if we can provide support on, on the back check or even staying above them, um, I think that we did a good job in doing both of those things. From a, from a forward standpoint, I think that the D did a great job in closing uh, quickly and, and not allowing those guys time and space in the ozone and, and trying to kill plays early. So um, those things are extremely important. Um, and I think it's a lot of it's just preemptive, just making sure that they don't build speed um, and get into open space. It was a full full team effort. Obviously, we, we played 60 minutes. Um, Soup was great for us coming in. Um, obviously, he made some huge saves. Um, you know, they're two, they're two top guys there, McDavid and Dreisaitl. Obviously, it's always good when you can keep them off the board. Um, you know, you know they're going to look to bounce back, and that's going to be a good challenge for us. So um, as far as the feeling that we had in the room, it was just, you know, we were ready to play, uh, full team effort, and we didn't stress too much who was in and out of the lineup. Uh, we just got to worry about what's, you know, right in front of us, and that's what we did. What do you think you guys did well specifically defensively? You mentioned how hard it is to limit those big guys on Edmonton. What what did you guys do well in that respect on Saturday? I think just staying on top of them, um, not letting them build. You know, teams like Edmonton, they they their offense is built through speed to the neutral zone, and I think if we're we're skating with them and and preventing them to do that, uh, it gives us a, a good chance to win. So that's part of the game plan. But um, you know. Like I said before, you know, they're looking to have a, a good bounce back game. So it's going to be a good game tonight and we're, we're looking forward to it. And the last one here, we'll go to Derek Van Dyke, Post Media. Go ahead, Derek. Hey, Zach, you guys did such a good job on their big guys the other night and you stayed out of the box. How, how key was that to, to, to playing discipline and staying out of the box and not letting that power play get any momentum? Yeah, I think there's, there's two pieces to that. I, I think obviously that's where elite players get their touches and get into the game more. But on the flip side of it, for, for us, uh, it gets our guys into the game, uh, whether it's penalty killers or power play, uh, it kind of gets more of a rhythm, uh, get four lines going, 6D going, and kind of everyone gets into the game, gets their touches, uh, feels the flow of it, and uh, it kind of works out that way. Hi, Sheldon. I'm just uh, wondering, get it out of the way early, any uh... – lineup changes that you know of right now or are we still looking at game time things for some of the players you mentioned yesterday yeah we're, it's going to be game time here we just have too many too many things up in the air at this point well mitch is a very good player in both the ends of the ice uh first of all so um you know when you're looking at at line mates and teammates you know the things are you know first of all do you do your job uh are you reliable in that and Mitch certainly is and, and then it's you know, if somebody makes a mistake here or there, can you make up for it through effort or intelligence? And in Mitch's case, he has both. And then, of course, when he has the puck, he, just the way he sees it, uh, if you get available and get open, he finds you, uh, creates his own space. Uh, so lots of really good things. And, and I think that's really what good players do. And, and I think it comes back around, of course, you know, the chemistry he and Austin have uh, shown this season and along with Joe. Uh, and then just, again, the other night, I mean, I think uh, – you look at Mitch's goal, it's a great goal. And you look at all the pieces that lead to it. I mean, uh, Joe puts himself in a good spot and stretches the ice and, and Riley finds him and then finds John with the space that, that Joe's created underneath. Uh, John attacks the middle of the ice 
and kicks it back to Mitch and drives through the middle of the ice to make it even harder on the defense and to the goalie. It leads to a goal. So there's a lot of things that go into that. So I think, you know, whether it's Mitch making um, other people better or you look at our other elite players, you know, that's what they do. They're constantly complimenting each other and lifting up everybody's game.